and welcome to Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. Whoop. Ooh, it is warm today in Jakarta. I think it must be always warm in Jakarta. But anyway, I am taking shelter in Madeka Park, the square, it's one square kilometer of space right in the heart of Jakarta city that is open lawns, grassy areas, and this beautiful wooded area here where you can listen to the birds and forget the traffic of Jakarta. It's an area where the locals come to escape the heat as well. And right in the middle of the park is the Monas Monument. So, we'll have a quick look around the park and then I'll take you to see the monument. <laughs> Ooh, escaping from the heat. Now in the corner of Madeka Park, hey, uh, you will find this little section which is food and drinks. Believe me, I'm not sure about the food, but you'll need the drinks. It is hot at all the time. So I'm gonna find me somewhere get a drink and have a sit down and rest. Oh, there's plenty of places to choose from as well. Ooh. Remember to keep drinking. It is hot, but it's been great being around Jakarta, but it's definitely time to escape the heat and I've had to stop filming because, well, I stopped filming on my other camera, my main camera, this is on my GoPro now, because the other camera quit working because it overheated. Came up with a warning and then went poof, blew up, kaboom, I basically said allow camera to cool, that was it, it hasn't worked since. So. Hope is going to be okay. I've never had this with this camera before. I know some of the uh, earlier 
models of this camera did have overheating issues, but I've never had this, and I've had it in some pretty hot places. But not the heat of Jakarta, clearly. Because it's doing for me as well. I'm just drinking so much water, of course, with the occasional other vitamin supplements. I would say a few things to note about Jakarta. One, yeah, the traffic is bad, and therefore the haze and pollution can be quite bad as well. Um, but those aside, you can move around the city quite freely as long as you're patient. Walking long distances is really not worth it, even with the traffic, because it is hot and sticky and it's just not pleasant. And you can get bluebird taxis, grab taxis and grab bikes fairly cheaply. And um, the bikes are quite good because they can go through the traffic, but you have to sit on the back of a bike. So with one person and a little bit of nerve is fine. Two people obviously you have to get two grab bikes, you might as well get a taxi and enjoy the aircon ride, even though it might take a little longer in the traffic. <laughs> Um, but there's some beautiful things to see around Jakarta. It is the capital of Indonesia, after all. Um, it's, it's not the most exciting city. It's got one or two features to look around. I mean, I wouldn't say to people, rush to Jakarta to enjoy a holiday there. That's not what Jakarta is for. But if you're coming in Jakarta, it's the, it's the biggest airport and the biggest city in uh, Indonesia, and you're here for a bit, there is a few things to see. So we're going to see them today, and I hope you're going to enjoy them. And I hope I'm going to have a camera that I can film them for you. Because um, the other one's blown up with the heat. Like me. The one thing you will notice about Jakarta, and probably all of Indonesia, the people. They are smiley, friendly people. Even if they don't speak English. Because even in Jakarta, it's amazing how little English is spoken and how little English is signposted in terms of like menus and restaurants. Google Translate is great and you soon learn a little bit of Indonesian because you have to. If you want to order food, oh, nasty goreng, fried rice. <laughs> you learn the essentials, then you won't die of thirst and, and hunger. But the people are really friendly, super smiley. Greet them with a smile, be respectful. They're respectful, polite people, which is really nice. And um, I felt comfortable and safe wandering around the city. Last night, I was checking out some of the Instagram bridges, which I'm sure I'll show you a footage of somewhere. And um, I realised it was midnight, and I'm on a railway bridge between two bus stations in a part of the city that I have no idea where I am, and I didn't feel threatened at all. When got it, there were security guards around everywhere. Uh, I was looking for somewhere to have a drink. Everywhere was already closed. That is the other thing to remember in Jakarta. Unlike Thailand and a lot of Asian cities, it's not littered with 7-Elevens and, and convenience shops on every corner. Neither do they open 24-7. Uh, some of them close at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, by midnight, even by half 11, all those shops are closed. Except in some areas, but in most of the areas of the city, people are packed up and gone by 11. So don't expect all night, because I got to 11 o'clock, 11.30, oh, I need a drink. There's a convenience store around the corner, Indo Merit. Went around, closed. Oh, I'll go down the bus, the uh, underground train. It was closed as well. I couldn't find one, I ended up going home and going thirsty. Well, okay, I did get some water. But yeah, so it's not an all-night 24-7 city, which I think is nice. But there is plenty to see. And there's various ways around the city that make it adventurous. There's a bus line, the Jakarta City Link Blue Bus Service. There's a train line to some of the areas, which we're going to take later on to Batavia, the uh, old starting point, the Dutch centre of Jakarta. And, of course, the taxis, which aren't that expensive. So. Yeah, and for the sweat and heat and dust and sit in a nice aircon taxi for a while, the taxis are a fair bet. Me, at the top of my water, see if my camera's recovered, and then I'm heading to the railway station to get the train to Batavia. I call it Batavia, Batavia. Good afternoon. Um, how much to go to Cote Kota tua, aduh. Jutu pula ya. Seventy. Sixty thousand. Very expensive. Too expensive. <laughs> a taxi at twenty. <laughs> okay, I have escaped the park, heading to the station. Now I just checked with. Oops, the little blue tuk tuk. I thought, whoa. Pavement's not very good here. I just checked with them and thought, well, maybe I could get the uh, a tuk tuk round. That'd be quite fun, do some filming. But it was 60,000 
for three kilometers, even in the traffic. Uh, if I got a Grab taxi or a Bluebird taxi, I think it would only be less than 30,000. But, oh, oh, there's the Blue Bus. The trouble is I haven't worked out how the Blue Bus work, the, uh, the Trans Jakarta buses, that's these ones here. Now they look really nice. But I haven't worked out where they go, where to go, which bus number to get on everything. I'm sure I could find out, but not in the middle of my day. <laughs> so I'm going to the train station, because I know the train goes from Gambia, which is right beside the Monas and Madeka Park, straight up to where I'm going next, next which is Batavia or Koatua, Koatua. The home of the original starting point of Jakarta City. Um, all I do is walk down here, turn left, and I should be at the station. Then I've got to work out how the station works, <laughs> when the train is, get on it going in the right direction. It should be that way, north. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hopefully it'll be fairly simple to find out. And as I said before, the people here are so kind, somebody will help me. Anyway, let's go get a train and do some more looking around. Jakarta. Well, I have made it into the station and there is lots and lots of places to eat. There's an entrance to the platform and a ticket checking point, but I can't find where to buy a ticket. Oh, maybe over there, looks like kiosks. Let's see if I can find. <laughs> How to work then? Okay, I fail. I think that is the place to buy tickets. It's all in Indonesian, lots of queues. I put in the place where I thought I wanted to go and it went blah, 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 blah. and uh, said some customer service. No idea the one is. So, I'm going to take option two. I'm going to head back out of the station, not take the train today, and try the bus. There's a bus station up there. Let's see if I can find the bus to Cote d'Etoile. Okay, so, failed to get the train. It's a bus stop. Let's see if I can work out how the buses work with no knowledge whatsoever. Or which line. Let's have a look. Now it's a helpful kiosk, there's not many queues. Uh, no, oh, a map, a map. So let's see if, where I want to go is on the map. So, uh, where on earth do I want to go? and the bus goes without me because this isn't on the same line as the bus line to Colter. So I have to take one bus, change, get another bus. It seems very confusing. So I'm here for option three and get me a grab bike just to take me up there. Welcome to Kota Tua. 
This is probably the oldest part of Jakarta. It's where the Dutch set up their first trading post here, which was then called Batavia in the 16 or 1700s, a long time ago. It actually only got changed the name Jakarta in about 1945 under the Declaration of Independence. But Batavia, or Kota Tua, as it's now known, is in North Jakarta. The harbour is over there. The main square is down there, which has got some of the old Dutch administrative buildings in. And during the day, it's quite pleasant. You can hire these brightly coloured bicycles to ride around and take selfies on. Um, it really comes to life in the evening. There's the old Batavia, Batavia Cafe. It's a bit expensive, but exclusive. But there's so much to do. There's this wonderful street market here, full of eating on one side, clothes and fashion accessories on the other. The square has got entertainment in. There's people playing live music, bands and things, and entertainers. And it really is like a family day out. I ended up getting here by grab taxi, but you can get the bus and the train here. So I've just found the train station. But I can work out how to work it. Anyway, let me show you around this beautiful place. It is brilliant in the evening. And it's a little bit cooler. Not much so. A day we have had exploring Jakarta. I know we ended up, there's some sort of festival or something going on. It's a holiday. I'm in Batavia Square or Kota Tua competing with a live band, stage audience, and loads of people. It's a really lovely atmosphere. People are really friendly and nice. Feels very safe. Everybody's around. There's lots to see here, but it's a nice way to round up the day. If you can hear me. 